Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, I wanted to take the opportunity to give you all a little look at the garden. Uh, I did plant this while Mr. Bucky was in the hospital. One day I just got out here and worked and worked and worked because he was doing much better. And uh, I ended up getting it all planted, which really surprised me. But uh, anyway, I wanted to give you all a, a look at that and also again to say thank you all for all the comments and uh, well wishes uh, when Becky was sick. I, I just really appreciate it so much. It's just good to know that um, y'all are out there. It really is. It's just great to know it's such wonderful people. I mean, when I first started this, I never imagined that I would even have hardly any people viewing mine. I really started it to sort of make some videos really from my son, the one in Germany that wants to learn to cook different things. And I don't know how it got to this, but I'm glad it did. So uh, anyway, some of the stuff in the garden's coming up. Now, I wanted to film today because it, we had some clouds and it's a lot better to film outside when it's cloudy for some reason. But anyway, I'm gonna turn this around and show y'all we got a few things coming up. All right. All right, so here it is. I laid off the rose a little bit different this year. Now, usually when you're in an area that's, uh, you know, as hot as it gets here in South Carolina, you, you don't plant anything up on a little ridge. You plant everything down in the little gully. But uh, this time I decided to plant up, you know, make little ridges, and I'm gonna fill in with compost. And there's all that compost over there. The second bin, is the one that's uh, ready to be emptied. That first bin, we're still putting some uh, grass clippings in. You can see the uh, fig tree, we cut it all back last year because it had just gone crazy wild. But it'll, it'll be okay, it'll still come back. All right, so the first row here, I want to give you a close up. This is the lettuce, and it's the same kind of lettuce that I had, uh, not last year, but fall before last. And we ate off that lettuce like all winter long. It really saved us a ton of money. Now the second row, this is kale. And it's just barely coming up. So see what I'm gonna do is fill in right in here with all the compost and kind of pull it up, you know, to the row. Because we've got a lot of compost in there. And this next row, I don't know what that is. I've got my little sheet in the house. I don't know what that row is, but I do know what these last three rows are. They are speckled butter beans, which is probably my most favorite of all vegetable. Now, all around the garage, sort of somewhat in the shade, that's cilantro that I planted last fall right by my neighbor's garage. And the reason I planted it there is because uh, so it would get some shade, you know, because cilantro really likes cooler weather than what we have here. But you can grow it great in the uh, winter time. And so I also planted some little onion seeds all around where the kale is also. Now back here, this year we're not having as many tomatoes as we have in the past now. Already the sun's come out and I can't see my screen, so hopefully I'm filming the tomato plants. We cut back the lantana, which is over behind over there. And then that green is just border grass. And anyway, we got a little fence to keep the dogs out because I don't want dog poop in my garden. All right, so these are, they're gonna be some beefsteak tomatoes here. And then I've got uh, several tomatoes vines, I think four of them over there by that little connecting fence there. So let's walk back here and we will look at the cucumbers. Now these are the hybrid cucumbers that are coming up already. And I am going to water just a little bit today. So right in here, got a, there's a little one coming up. And there's one. And there. So what I have to do is uh, put out some slug bait because turn it back around. In our area, the slugs are terrible. They are just terrible. Now, I've got an organic garden, so what I do is put the uh, slug bait, let me sit back down. <laughs> I'm already tired today. 
uh, what I do is put slug bait on the very outside perimeter of the garden. And uh, I've been doing that for several years and that way I don't get any slugs in the garden and I don't have to put it up close where the plants would uh, possibly get into it. So that's what we do. I put it around the perimeter of this fence right out here all around. So last year we didn't have any slugs. Now one of the things I used to do is put out, uh, it's really hot out here y'all and very very humid so we're going to have some storms tomorrow I'm sure. But one of the things I used to do was put out beer, just buy some kind of cheap beer and uh, put it uh, in a little cup or, a, or like a little pie plate thing and put it out in various areas in the garden and of course the snails are attracted to it I guess because of the uh, uh, yeast in, in the beer is what I'm thinking I don't really know but anyway they will come and you know go in the cup or the little pie plate thing and of course they get drunk and drowned I guess but what I found is that really attracts snails <laughs> I mean not snails but uh, slugs that wouldn't have been there ordinarily you know what I'm saying I mean I think they were coming from yards next door to come get the beer so anyway um, I think it's been three years now we've been putting out the slug bait just a little bit all around the perimeter and I put it out maybe in the course of the summer about three times and we never have any slug problem that way but before I had slugs and, and a slug pretty much will eat anything green and so, so like these little bitty plants that are just coming up now, they would just come and wipe them all out. You, you wouldn't even see any plants. They just, and then leave a slime. That's how you know it was slugs, because they come out at night and leave a slimy trail where, they, where they've been. And of course, snails would do the same thing, but we don't really have snails. Now, what I do have is we have got, I think, um, a couple of moles. And, um, I, I, I think we've had them for a number of years and I don't really mess with them. What they do is the, the moles eat um, earthworms and they do, uh, I guess they probably harm some roots too, but they don't really eat the roots. They're after the earthworms and we have got tons of them out here. Uh, ever since we started doing the organic gardening, the garden is just, anytime you put the shovel in, earthworms come up. So, and that's a good thing. So, of course, we've also got gnats here now, too. But anyway, I see a little place. Let's see if y'all can see that on the camera. Can y'all see that little place? Let's see, it's right there. All right, that's, that's from a mole. And um, they don't, I haven't really noticed them hurting the garden in any way, really, you know? So anyway, all right, sorry for all the jiggling. So I just wanted to give you a, an update on the garden, and I'll be doing another one here, I don't know, maybe in another month or so now. We have not gotten up to mountain rest because Mr. Bucky, of course, got real sick. And even before that, I had pneumonia. So, you know, but this has been the, the, the worst year we've ever had as far as sickness goes. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update. Uh, Mr. Bucky still really can't do anything outside for sure and I have to like mow the lawn and uh, do all of his chores. He, he kind of doesn't like that but he's he's still weak but uh, he's definitely better. I can see an improvement every single day. So anyway that's the little update. That's all I got. Um, the uh, lettuce and the kale and the cucumbers are coming up. But I am remembering, I did plant some Swiss chard, so that's in one of those rows in the middle. Because they said uh, in the, uh, um, on the little thing that it would tolerate some, some warm weather. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to give it a try. And um, I did get a bunch of seeds to plant up in uh, Mountain Rest. Uh, I'm, I'm going to plant some uh, watermelon and cantaloupe, because see here we never had room for that. And if I can find some uh, p a sweet potato, uh, which I'm sure I'll be able to up there, uh, you have to plant those in, I think they call them slips, sweet potato slips. They're just a little plant. You, you, that's how you plant sweet potatoes. 
uh, but I would like to do sweet potatoes because I've got a lot more room up there. Okay, the wind is cooler now. It's it's probably 85 degrees out here, y'all, and the humidity, I'm sure, is well over 90%. So, uh, anyway, I was going to water the garden a little bit this morning, but since it's got all cloudy and everything, I think we're probably going to get a little bit of rain today, too. So, anyway, so that's all I got about the garden. Uh, I will be doing updates when the stuff gets up a little higher and everything uh, and just to say thank y'all I love the comments I mean you know when I came home at night from the hospital I would go ahead and uh, pull up you know any comments because I always get emails when y'all leave a comment on every single comment I get an email and uh, read those and it was so encouraging it's great to know you're out there because sometimes you know it feels like you're just that's the garbage men on the next street we live in a tight little community here. We really do. But everybody kind of knows everybody, and uh, so that works out real well. We certainly know our neighbor real well. And uh, so, anyway, all right, well, that's all I got. And uh, again, here's the garden. It's just beginning now, but hopefully it's going to do well this year. I did get my seeds from a. Oh, well, let me show you this. Can y'all see the dog over there? He's got two. Let me. I'm going to go film him. Uh, my neighbor's got two. Let's see if you can see him there. He's going out to look at there. See him? Basset hounds. He's got two basset hounds. Yeah. He's going out to check out the. Uh, he's going out to uh, check out the garbage men. Is what he's doing. But anyway, I cut my crepe myrtle all back too. Here they are. And they'll all come out here in a little while. In fact, some, it's already budding. See, there's a little. Can y'all see that little bud coming out? Anyway, if you the crepe myrtle will look a lot prettier if you cut them back every year. Then they'll have bigger blooms and and uh, more greenery. Now there he goes. Now both of the basset hounds are out there, and Wheeler doesn't like the basset hounds. So every chance he gets, he goes over the fence <laughs> like that. <laughs> he doesn't like them, but uh, Peppy and Steely I think like them okay. Anyway, okay, well, that's all I've got. The clouds are really gathering now, so uh, some rain will get some of the pollen out of the air, water my garden, and just generally clean the pollen off everything, including the cars. They were so bad, the cars looked chartreuse. They did. They looked chartreuse. The pollen was so bad. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time.